Hello everyone, this is Sushma Venkatesh from um, Informatica Global Customer Support. Uh, today I'm presenting a brief video on Informatica 951 logs. The agenda of this video is to talk about log architecture, what are the various logs in 951, what each of these logs contain. <clears throat> logs are uh, a key in troubleshooting any issue. It's important to understand what logs should be looked into and for what kind of issues. Um, here I have a pictorial representation of what uh, how Informatica handles logs. Um, the service manager <clears throat> uh, in Informatica 9, um, it runs two things. One is the log manager and the log agent. The service manager provides uh, all the logs for the domain, the application services, the user activities, and um, like power center sessions, workflows, mappings, preview jobs, etc. And um, the log manager is designed to run on the master gateway node only. And it collects uh, and processes log events for the domain operations and all the services. Uh, like power center repository integration, uh, model repository, DIS, etc., and also the user activity. The log events contain um, error messages from the um, from all these uh, all these uh, services and um, uh, the domain itself. The service manager and the application uh, services they send uh, uh, the events to the log manager. <clears throat> Uh, the log agent is designed to run on uh, the all the nodes. The log agent retrieves uh, workflow and session log events by the power center integration services, and it displays in the workflow monitor. Um, you can view the log events uh, through the workflow monitor in case of power center, and um, uh, in case of um, uh, the Mercury, you can go directly to the uh, logs on the file. The log manager writes uh, the logs to the event files and guaranteed message delivery files. And these GMD files are returned in case of um, uh, a failover on, uh, when the master gateway node fails. Um, this makes sure that the log events are not lost. It writes to the GMD files, which is eventually returned to the uh, actual log file. <clears throat> I'll briefly go through all the logs that is that um, uh, is related to Informatica services, uh, which should uh, help in um, customers sending out the right uh, kind of logs uh, to customer support in case there are issues. Catalina.out and isplogs.log. Um, Catalina.out contains core services initial startup events and also the Tomcat errors until 91HF3. I'll tell you where, uh, what happens after 91HF3. Uh, it goes into uh, the isplogs.log. And um, the isplogs.log uh, contains the Tomcat errors and uh, the Tom Tomcat generated info messages. These can be uh, modified through isplogging.properties, which is in Tomcat bin location. The node.log contain uh, master election and re-election information, and there are also some errors during the inter-node communication. Um, so the default uh, level of logging in uh, node.log is warning. You can change it to info for uh, information on uh, master re-election. Exceptions log uh, is, uh, contains more detailed stack trace on what messages are seen in node.log. Services framework dot log is a log that was uh, that was introduced in nine, and it's for the Java service framework. And all the logs from the JSF gets returned into services framework dot log, which is in Tomcat bin. And this this file is critical for um, domain node issues uh, since it contains uh, critical errors. And all the Mercury uh, service processes, like the ISP, the admin console, and all the services like MRS, DIS, AS, et cetera, they write to this file until 9.1. And there is another services framework.log in ISP bin, which uh, has infacmd uh, commands, 
uh, errors. Um, in 9.5, we changed the services framework.log to services frameworks.log. This is in Tomcat bin, and only the ISP process writes to this file. It's again a Java service framework log. Uh, and the all the other services which writes the JSF log are separated out, and that is under services slash service type service name underscore JSF dot log. So if you look at uh, your info home services model repository service directory, you will find you should find a MRS name underscore JSF dot log and it's it holds good for analyst service, DIS and any other service created. Um, and also the admin admin console and also the infra CMD and the infra setup. So all the errors related to these modules are returned to separate underscore JSF dot logs. The domain log that we export from the admin console, it contains uh, critical information about um, uh, you know, any uh, unexpected failure of the service processes and the standard out and standard error um, and some stack traces. Um, the admin console log, any errors related to uh, Admin console is a separate Java process starting 9.x and any errors related to this uh, process is returned to the administrator log, uh, uh, log. Application services have different set of logs like for uh, each of the services uh, we have uh, under Tomcat logs AS and Tomcat logs MRS. And uh, all the jobs related to Mercury uh, could be found in uh, Tomcat bin DIS logs for profiling um, and uh, DIS log slash MS for preview, data preview, mapping run, and also reference table copy. And DIS log slash workflow for workflows uh, that is run in um, Mercury domain. And uh, built-in handlers have a uh, job. Um, logs related to human task jobs. Uh, on the client side, you will find uh, one log, which is uh, under the location uh, workspace slash dot metadata dot log. Uh, any client side events or client side crashes <clears throat> from the developer tool, you should look at the uh, logs uh, under this location. There's another uh, thing uh, about power center session and workflow logs which are stored in binary format and that is in uh, the dollar tmss logs uh, and workflow logs uh, directory thank you we would love to hear about you, uh, hear from you about um, any suggestions on uh, the video thank you